Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a throttle remote for your electronic speed controller or ESC when used with a trolling motor. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. I've unpackaged the Gear Falcon and this is the throttle part of it right here. You can see the lever and it has an approximate 280 degree range of motion it has an aluminum axle inside and it has a magnetic brake that runs along the inside so the throttle will stay in place and it's not spring loaded. Then on the bottom is where you have your 50k pot and it's mounted to this circuit board here so you can have a three prong connector if that's what you want to do. And then these two screws here you just remove them and this whole section pops out with the gear that's attached here to the pot and you have options you can either buy it without a bezel buy it with a flat bezel like I did because I'm going to mount it in a box or you can get one with a curved bezel I've removed the screws and this is what it looks like with the gear on it and then on the inside here, I think you can see the teeth that goes to the lever gear. This is the pot and circuit board removed from the throttle. And this is the little gear on there. And I'm just going to pop it right off like that. And then what you can see is you have your three points here that if you want to desolder this pot and replace it with a new one so you can use the three pin connector here you can or you can just go ahead and remove the pot completely and wire it up the way you'd like to or you can just make a copy of the same size and hole pattern for this board and then attach it in the bottom of the throttle so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put the new pot in there and use my own wiring on it but use this because it's already spaced and measured for it. In order to remove the 50k pot, what I did was cut the three legs off and then I desoldered the three pieces that were left in there. Then to make sure that there was no contact issues, I covered the soldering holes with some liquid electrical tape which will insulate it so now I can install my 10k pot. These are two versions of the 10K pot that you can use in this project. This one can be used with an ESC by just extending the wiring from the pot on the servo board. And this one is to be used with a Haswing Pro Truar 1.0 trolling motor. And the difference is that there is a 1K resistor on both the positive and negative terminals of this pot and I couldn't figure out both these on my own so I'm going to give credit to the people that helped me in the narrative section of this video. This is the waterproof box that I'm going to be using for this project and take off the lid and if you look here in the bottom you have these little areas in here that are raised up and so in order for the controller to fit in there I'm just going to snap off these two center ones so it'll sit in there flat then what I need to do is cut a one inch by four inch rectangle through the center of this box so I can drop the whole setup inside alright this is the flat bezel that comes with this project and you can see there's four holes in the corners but I put those in there because originally there's little indentations on the underside here that show you where to drill and so I drilled those through first and then I'm going to place this on top of the box after I cut out this four inch by one inch rectangle so I can slide the bevel down into the top of the box this 
this is a view of the top of the box. I've already cut out my one by four inch rectangle and drilled out the four corners for this bezel. And what I did, I just lined it up in there and then drilled the hole straight through. Okay, so I dry fit everything into the box to see if everything would line up right and I ran into a problem. I knew that the tolerances for the depth of the inside of the box was going to be tight and it turns out it's a little too small but this was the closest size box I could find without buying some huge box that would look kind of silly. So what happened was I've got this much of a gap at least which is about a quarter of an inch that I need to raise this up so I will have room underneath the pot so it doesn't bottom out in this box. So this is what I came up with. I was trying to figure out what kind of spacer I was going to make to fit under the bezel to pick up that gap that I needed and I came across this electrical switch cover which has this rectangle section already cut out so all I had to do was extend the cutout a little bit on either edge and the dimensions here fit perfectly underneath the bezel. So once I did that, I also painted it black so it would match and this is what I came up with. Okay, I put my spacer in there and I dry fit everything back together and this is what it's going to look like. So now I can go ahead and finish the wiring. Now the last thing I did to the box was drill a hole on this end for the gland nut so I can run my wiring through there and then I also used some marine goop just to make sure everything is sealed. Okay, when you reassemble everything, the first part you want to do is reassemble the top of the box, like so. Then you're going to take your lever controller, slide it through the slot up in here, and then you've got these screw holes in here, and then you'll attach it to the top. And then I'm going to put a bead of marine goop around just to make sure it's sealed, and then I can finish the wiring for this. This is my finished throttle lever with the 10K pot in it. And you can see my wiring down there like I talked about earlier. And if you've worked with the Haswings before, you know that there's a little gap that makes the zero point off center, whether you're using a knob or a lever. So, as you can see here, it's not straight up and down, which would be the true zero on this. So I figured out a way around that. Once I know where the zero point is here with everything set up, I'm just going to carefully unscrew the pot and pull it out with the gear. Once I do that, I will move the lever to the true zero position and then reinsert the pot with the gear, put it all back together, and I will have a zero at the lever position. All right, so I've already hooked up my throttle controller to the Haswing and the power supply and gotten my center beeps. So let's just go ahead and test this and see how it goes. It works just like it should. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.